Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. So this is a clip from a previously recorded video. This is a much shorter clip of it. But as always, not financial advice for entertainment only. Do your own research. And I'm Invest Applying Closing Companies. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And let's get into the clip. So Moss in here as well has reported their Q1 2023 financial results and then selected unaudited financial highlights for Q1 fiscal year 2023. Here's what we have. See so here. So Q1 2023 financial and business highlights revenue of 7.67 million, gross profit of 2.99 million. They signed an expansion amendment to the additional 20 megawatt at the Midland, Pennsylvania facility, increasing the total facility to 120 megawatts of power available in Q2. So that's good there. Commence construction of the final 70 megawatts of the 120 megawatt Midland, Pennsylvania facility. That's good. Started construction of the new 120 megawatt Sharon, Pennsylvania facility with 12 megawatts on site available for energization in Q2. So that's good. Corporate development subsequent to quarter end. They sold the Greenfield, Texas lease and transformers for 8.5 million in cash and stable coins. So that's good. They acquired a new 24 megawatt facility in Corning, Ohio on long term lease. So that's good. Commence energization of the final 70 megawatts for the Midland, Pennsylvania. That we already covered that. That's good. They also raised approximately 5 million equity capital and increased self mining machine count from 5,880 in March to 13,500 uh, machines deployed as of May 10th. We still have not received their production update for April. I don't know what's taking them so long to get that out. It shouldn't be that difficult to provide the numbers. How many because did you mind? What's your end of month hash rate? Uh, how many machines do you have installed? It shouldn't be rocket science to figure that stuff out. So hopefully they'll get that to us within the next week or so, and then we'll cover it at that point. Okay, so let's take a look at Moss in here, what I have for them. Oop, not there. Why did I go here? And Moss is right here. I've also updated their... Um, well, my spreadsheet for them up to the new layout of the dashboard style. And we'll go over this when they actually provide the Q4 numbers. But in here, we're just going to kind of look at shares outstanding is 14.3 million roughly as provided by Microsoft Excel. Uh, market cap is about 39 million. Stock price is at $2.77. Current hash rate, I have them at 533 pet hash. Future hash rate is going to be about 1.7 exahash right now. They still have about 1.1 exahash left to install. Okay, we'll get into this when they provide their numbers here for April. Things that we want to take a look at here are the last four quarter revenue. So Q2 was their, uh, excuse me, was their best month here of 16.21 million in revenue. Uh, Q3 way down here to 5.9. Q4 down even more to 2.19. And then Q1 came in a little bit higher at 2.756 for their self mining. I'm estimating them to be about 2.7 now in the current quarter that we're in. So the Q2. Their last four quarter operating costs here have been coming down as well. I probably should update this so it's not that big of a chart. I should probably make that about 18 million as well. But, oop, didn't want that. Uh, let's see here, format. So, and we want to do this one, axis. We want to change that to 18 million instead of the 90 million that we do have there. There we go. Now we can kind of see what's going on here as far as comparison wise. Okay, so Q2, 14.3 million in operating cost. Q3, 18.8. Obviously, that's a lot higher than what they actually made here. Q4 was 6.7, and then Q1 was 4.678. So they are kind of coming back down a little bit on that. Still not above everything here, but this is for their self-mining. I think this includes hosting and everything else in here. Uh, so we'll see on that one going down further. Custom M1 BTC is at 13.8. That has come up here since Q4. Has been coming down ever since Q2, Q3, and Q4. Bitcoin mine quarterly has been coming down also, which is also concerning there. It is up a little bit here to 121 for Q1 compared to 115 for Q4. Debt to equity has come down a little bit here as well. Uh, stayed flat here from Q4 to Q1, 0.73. Current ratio has come down here to 0.344. That's also concerning there a little bit, uh, but it's not too bad. We'd like to see that about above one. Total current assets has also been coming down here ever since Q3. They're down to 16.74, and we probably should update this one as well because this one is giving us a goofy format on that one. So instead of 16, let's go with uh, 600 million. Let's go with 400 million or 40 million. I said, I'm tired. It's late, so I've been doing this out oh, 68 million on that one. So we probably should drop and uh, increase this to 70. 70 million. There we go. Let's increase this as well to 70 million as well, and that way we'll have a equal comparison on what we want to take a look at. Okay, there we go. So that's been fixed. And yeah, we can see that Q1 total current liabilities has increased to 48.5 million. Okay. And the total current assets is down to 16. So that's also concerning there a little bit. 
And the main reason I think for that is, and this is just my opinion here, is they do a lot of hosting, and I hate hosting because I believe it is just not as profitable as soft mining is. Okay. All right. So here's what we got for Q1 results. Current cash and cash equivalents, including restricted cash, went up a little bit here to 1.3 from 946,000 in Q4. So that's good there. Prepaid expenses went down to 1.9 from 3.4. Trade and other receivables went down also to 7.9 from 10.4. Assets held for sale, still the same amount here. Digital currency is at 28,000. They report none there in Q4. So total current assets is down to 16.7 from 20.3. So that's concerning. Property and equipment net went down to 84 million compared to 91 million. De um, derivative assets also went down to 10.6 from 11.3. Equipment deposits increased to two from zero. And what else do we have here? Equity is zero now. Marketable security is zero. Financial assets is zero here. So marketable securities actually went down, so that's good. Security deposits is way down here to 224,000 from 2.5 million. And operating lease and right of use is down a little bit as well to 2.5 from 2.8. So total assets is down to 116 million from 133 million. Current liabilities. Trade and other payables is up to 24 million from 10.5. So that's obviously, I wonder if that's related to minor purchases maybe. Current portion of operating lease liability is up a little bit here to 1.39 from 1.3. And then current portion of finance lease liability is up a little bit to 31,000 from 30,000. Liabilities held for sales, zero. Borrowings is down a little bit actually to, to 22.9 from 23.6. So that's good. So total current liabilities actually increased to 48.5 million from 35. So I said, like I said, that's a little concerning there. And then when we look at total liabilities, we're looking at 49, almost 50 million compared to 57 million. So those liabilities have actually come down here a little bit. So that's a good thing there. Total liabilities in stockholder equity is at 116.7. So that's down from 133.3. Revenue, here's what we got for revenue. So self-mining was 2.756 million. Um, that is actually up a little bit here from the uh, Q4 at 2.196. Hosting is up also to 4.3 million from 3.5 roughly. And then sale of cryptocurrency mining equipment is down to 150,000 from 3.7 uh, million on that one. Net energy benefits is also down to 441,000 from 7.4 on that one. That's why they came in at 16.8 revenue in Q4 and down to 7.6 in Q1 right now. Biggest change here was obviously net energy benefits on that one. Uh, that definitely didn't help out there. Okay. And let's take a look at some of the last costs of revenue, exclusive depreciation. So they lump it all in here. I calculated this based on the percentage uh, as far as what possibly could be their cost of self-mining. I don't know this for a fact. I'm just doing the total cost here that they reported and taking that and dividing it, I believe. So what do we do here? We took Q1 self-mining that one divided by q1 of revenue and then we multiplied it by this so we got yeah so the percentage of basically what they generated in revenue multiplied that percentage by the cost of revenues and it got about 1.68 million possibly for that okay so that's kind of what i'm using there uh expenses general administrative also went up a little bit here to 4.97 would love to see that come down a little bit more previous quarter was 4.9 Four, uh, share-based compensation went up. Uh, don't like seeing that to 1.068 million compared to 887,000. Depreciation amortization came down to 7.9 from 17, and that's what we got here. So this is basically total expenses was 14 compared to 22. So that's actually good. That came down here, and that one. But share, uh, which one is it? Depreciation as a non-cash item, I believe. Net loss gain uh, income for the period was negative. 11.6 million compared to negative 22, so that's good there. Better, uh, not as big of a loss there so far. Gross profit minus depreciation came in at 39%. That's down from the 59 they reported here in Q4, and but it's a little bit higher than Q3 though, so that's at least some good there on that one. Other comprehensive income, let's see what else we have here. You guys can take a look at all this stuff. I'm not gonna get into it here, but net loss attributed to Moston Infrastructure Group shareholders was negative 11 million point one compared to 18.1, so that's good there. The only thing that is concerning here is basic and diluted shares. Uh, EPS was down to 0.80 cents or negative 80 cents basically per share on that one. And then we have the basic and diluted, I think it might be because of the number of shares here decreased quite substantially. That's why that's 
gone up here compared to what they had before here. Okay. Let's take a look at the metrics that I do have for them on this. And then cost of my one BTC came in at 13.8. On that one, debt to equity, we talked about that. You guys can take a look at the book to value, beta as well, and then revenue and general administrative compensation. That is really high. 78.82% compared to where it was in Q4 of 34%, right? I'd like to see that below 20%, ideally under 15, even under 10% of that, but 78% is pretty high right now. And then here's this number of shares that they reported of 16.2, and we have them at actually 14. So that's actually an old number there. It hasn't been updated yet by Microsoft Excel. Uh, when that does get updated, so I'm, here's the thing, I'm trying to think if I should just use the numbers that are reported at the end of the quarter by the companies, or if I should rely on Excel to provide that information through their stock, uh, um, stock function information that you can provide that get get information on stocks uh, because we are seeing some differences here obviously what's being reported and what Microsoft is reporting so I may change that up I may actually put that in here and then calculate the market cap based on the number of shares reported by the company instead of relying on Microsoft Excel to provide the accurate data there okay that's one of the things that I'm looking into possibly doing okay so that's it uh, oh down here I almost forgot we gotta take a look at this so currently they are at $2.77. Uh, $2 I have them with a PE of eight right now, possibly. So that would be at $3.94. And the main reason is because they have so little shares out right now. Uh, and then if we look at the 75% net income, we're looking at $5.90. So they are undervalued in my opinion right now. But yeah, I mean, their self-mining is horrific and their hosting I'm not a big fan of. Uh, right now they are basically trading at a PE of what is that, a five or six, somewhere around there, 5.5, if we look at it this way. So I give them an eight, a little bit of a premium there from where they are right now. So I do think they are still slightly undervalued, but they definitely have to grow their own hash rate growing forward. Okay, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, the spreadsheets are available to my Patreon members. Let me know what you guys think of all of this. A lot of data. If I have any errors, please let me know.